guys, welcome back. <laughs> so hopefully you watched the replays by now. Um, how these two oddballs just... Um, because I've, I've attempted to build a deck before. But before, I didn't have Magician Souls. So I didn't even bother. But now, I was like, okay, I have Magician Souls now. I can try to see how it works now. And it makes the deck so much better. And it prompts responses. It, it makes your opponent like think like, oh, do I interact here? Or do I not? Because you, you're, you're just going to generate so many resources. And it's hard not to interact with it, right? Because So, like, for example, right? Let's say you go Souls, right? You go Souls. Souls, um, send all the traps. They're going to go Ash. Okay, it's fine. Okay, Ash, Imprint Raider, doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay, and then you go okay, Summon, Summon, Cyber Machine Gun. I mean, Cyber Machine Gun. <laughs> Uh, effects they're rarely gonna interact with here there's just no reason to I mean of course if they if they were aware but like it just doesn't make any sense so then you resolve it add illumination so you can have trail ready so then you go you go one souls and four starting gun that's speeder right so they already interacted once they stopped um speeder that's two okay now you go trail uh, you go illumination send trail tribute to speeder special this trigger trail you can you can make it level seven, eight, or nine, right? So if you go for an eight, you go into Omega. Um, you can wait seven stand by face and return trail if you want like follow up place, or you can just go outright like outright just go banish and take with three cards. So by the time it gets to their turn, they're gonna be playing with three cards. And assuming you send all its traps for the souls, you can have your Elvis engine in rotation. So like that's insane. Like th that little that just that little display of 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 card filter is it's it's crazy. Like it's it's just insane. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. And so triple Stratus synchron, uh, triple junk synchron. These are your main um, tuners, and then of course you have your only level two, the most important one. Like you could just not play this, but like you take away, for example, let's say you go uh, tuning and and this or tuning and this and then you go okay effect they still do your opponent to see that you have three cards in hand they're like oh he has three cards left in hand okay uh i'll just ash there you know because it's, it's it's off it just gives you our opponent uh ways to 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 anticipate incorrectly and without this you wouldn't have that option that means everything all the attention will be devoted to him and your souls whereas that's something you kind of want to try to avoid you know so let's say for example you do this ash here okay that's fine and then you go summon this, summon this effect. Okay, they stop, they prematurely stop you. Okay, it's fine. And then you go souls, you tribute this, um, summon this, search illumination, and souls effect. They stop you there again. Okay, it's fine. If they don't, then you draw two cards. Okay, it's fine. And then you go speeder, and then you, you get to where you're wherever it is, you, it is you want to go. And that's only because you have this this uh, co these consistency cards because they prompt a response, and that's something that. I keep going back and forth on is like, is it worth it? Is that worth it? You know, and it seems so far it is because like, as as insignificant as it might seem, as it, as it might appear, it, it's it's quite important. <laughs> I was like, oh, at first I was like, I can easily just cut this part, but like, it just makes speeder like really underwhelming, like just cutting the level three, um, especially because the Hakuero and Conquistador are um, level fives, so you have like Trish plays, which is something that kept coming up. So I decided to put it in. I was like, oh, this comes up quite often. Um, then, of course, you have your Stardust Trail and your Cyber Synchron. Um, it's just level moduling. It just helps a lot. The fact that you can have, like, little plays here. You can set up a, a Satellite Warrior or a Baron on their turn. It's quite nice. Like, it just, it's just really well. Really, really, really good. And then, of course, you have to play Don Walker in this build. Because, r like, discarding Alice Traps is insane <laughs> it just this, it just basically becomes free it's basically just a walker like you summon this guy from deck and then you get ruler and ruler almost never misses which is insane it just gives you another, another way to play which is really nice and then of course you're playing souls like souls just makes this deck way better like i mentioned before like just these two together have so much synergy like just insane like They'll, they'll, they'll ash or imp from here. Then you summon this. Effect. Search illumination. Have trail ready for the weight sinker for sure. Right? Go speeder. If they eat, eat you another tra another another interaction there, it's fine. You just, like I said, you just go trail and make an eight and make a make and rip another card. Like, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's just insane. Like, it, it's, it's just so free. Like, the fact that you can just send all these traps. It's just amazing. And then, of course, you have your, your triple tuning. This card just becomes way better. Because milling cards, milling Eldest Traps, milling Golden Lord, milling um, 
converter is quite off, quite, quite good because you want to b bring back with uh with uh with converters effect, which is nice. And you want junk to summon something back. Like the fact that you can go um uh junk summon uh, go into an Excel, reborn the junk, make an 8 with the Hoquero conquistador and have like a satellite play or something. Like you have like a crystal make you make an omega um and then you have like a like an like a like a satellite warrior play which is pretty pretty cool <laughs> and then uh overtake um i guess you could you you can cut this but like it just gives you like more resilience and 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 having the junk summon and ha and just pair it with the hoquero and um and the souls it just gives you like a really a really significant top deck because making a trish like they'll they'll, they'll think like the hoquero on its own is nothing but then little little, <laughs> little did they know that you have a junk Summon souls, go Trish. Like the fact that you can banish a card on field and engrave and in hand is insane. Like banishing DPE, Celestial, and like, you know, it's just it's just insane. It's just a blow a card. So I just felt like, okay, I might as well just play it, right? And then just synchroing with the with the Hakuar and Conquistador is not so bad either. And of course you have uh, Illumination. You search this stuff as start of synchro. And then this foolish trail, which is really nice. And then of course you have your outlet stuff. You have the, your double gold. I need to get seekers, man. <laughs> uh, you have your double gold lord. Um, this is so good because it just it gives it an instant out to like omni negates, and it lets you just run over stuff. Like for example, like you play your you're playing you're playing this right. So you're playing your, your your lord, your land. So like if you open up this in souls, it's just amazing. Like it's just so good. It is so good, man. It's just amazing. And the fact that you you I, I was playing one, but then two just kept coming up because you want. To be able to be like okay, um, effect search and then send to prop to prompt the response and then like get rid of a DPE or something, you know, or the fact that they like like if they do the thing where they pop something else other than the DPE, then you just send the DPE and it won't trigger and it won't come back, which is really nice. But it just gives you something to like prompt the response and force a negate. You go okay effect and you're not really losing anything because the the trap you sent you're gonna get you're gonna replace itself, and then another one is you just uh, send this. To bring it back and then it's indestructible so it's really good against dpe boards and then this will send another trap you know so you, like, it, it just it, it's like so cool like the fact that you can do that i'm like what the heck that's insane like it seems like oh this is actually pretty good <laughs> and um yeah and this with souls is amazing it just it just it gives you like a free like like just think about it like it just i'm pretty sure many of you are aware of outlets just outlets and, and magician souls like the fact that you can go uh search uh, any uh, the Hakuero Hoc Conquistador, right? Um, effects, send them both. They they have to respond here, right? Okay, that's fine. This this, this this is the scenario I was talking about. And then you go, okay. Um, sub in effects, search illumination. Go speeder, right? So they interacted you here already. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> go, you know, so they need to have a lot of interactions to try and stop your push, and your your your, your combo setup, which is what I liked about this these two together. It's just so good, man. It's so good. And then of course you just play um triple of each trap because it's just yeah it just felt like i needed like i know most of the time you see just these people play two of this but i just wanted to max it out because of souls like i want to be able to just go search this like off this and then just um be able to just banish this and then this will send like uh one of these right or send the lord and you can just you know just try to get this out of the deck as fast as possible just so you could have um constant pressure with uh with, with big 35 guys which is huge um but yeah it's very it's very simplistic it's, it's 40 cards and i'm missing a lot of power cards if you have you noticed like i'm not I, like this is the stuff i cut like i wasn't playing doubles i wasn't playing this i wasn't i'm not even playing these which is crazy like which is which is uh kind of want to kind of why i want to increase the card count like adding this adding foolish um Adding uh, shrine for the Strudo, like the Strudo, the Strudo and uh, and the uh, Hakuero uh, or Conquistador. That's that's in, like you know like things like that. So I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I should do it. But then it's like I have to try it because it, like it just took me by surprise of how how cool it was. And like some of, if you watch back some of the replays, some of the losses were like due to like minor misplays. Like one of the, like one of the losses was because I I I thought I had more Alice traps and I did than than. than uh, and I didn't have any more. 
And so I went Shenzhen, crashed into his access code, and I was on 200. I was like, okay, I'll, uh, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just um, recycle the, the return to trap and face set um, L's traps and pop his access code because he's top deck anyways. So I did that. I was like, well, there's no, there's, there's no, <laughs> there's no reason for me to do that. I, just, I said, just go everything on defense, and I would have lived. And I was, oh my god, it was, it was so it would have been 80% instead of 70%, which is insane. Uh, and then the extra deck, like I mentioned before, I uh, playing uh, Silent Warrior. This guy comes up a lot. Trish, like I mentioned before, uh, Junk Souls and uh, Hakuero Conquistador, which is really nice. Hot Red <clears throat> um, Castler, this is really good in this deck. Chris Wing, um, Omega. Uh, you make this a lot, um, like post game one, because you're scared of light storm, and you don't want to be wasting your Baron negate on a on a on a on a light storm. Like you just don't want to be doing that. Want to negate like effects that prompt responses, you know. And of course, you have drags, um, uh, starters charge, because it lets you have the play where you you make a charge and then you get level one token and you make that speeder. You know that that, that comes up a lot. And then of course, junk warrior. Um, and you, in this build, I'm playing double speeder. This comes up so much. And it's so weird because you would expect this to be the way in the regular synchro deck because it's an actual synchro deck. But it is it, the fact that you don't have, it's not really as tight. So it's it's just preference and what things you want. But it's just what I noticed that kept coming up in my particular games. You know, so it was it was pretty crazy. And I, and I'm playing Maiden as well. Maiden um, lets you have a follow up play if you have uh, converter and grave. So like. Typically, what happens is you make maiden right um, with the junk, and then and then the, um, the what's I'm gonna call it the the converter will reborn a, a tuner, and then you go like into like maybe because by then you most likely make a, make an XL already by then, and you revive that, and then you, you make either a baron. Oh, that's what I'm missing. You're mi I'm missing two cards. You're missing baron and a shenzhen. I don't have those. <laughs> I'm trying to get them as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, like it gives you like a secondary push. It makes it makes uh, top decking um, junk, top decking tuning, top decking overtake significant because like you have another way to 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 push. Because the first your, your first initial setup is gonna be um, Baron, uh, this and either Omega this or um, a satellite warrior play. So then, uh, a following turn, like uh, like follow up, you want to be able to have like other another push because sometimes you don't make this, and sometimes you don't make this. So then this gives you options to do so, um, which is really nice, and that's why you play this. And the fact that you can reborn your dragons is huge. It just it just it's just really cool. Um, but that's the deck list. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to make the first replay video so long, so I ended up uh, making it um, in a separate video. Hopefully, I was a bit. Um, detailed in um, what you were, what you were expecting, so you can kind of like clarify some some questions and some doubts on the deck's functionality. But it seems very straightforward, right? It's 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 very yeah, very straightforward. And uh, that's gonna be it. <laughs> Hopefully, enjoy the video. Like, subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.